Hello guys and welcome to episode 4 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as the Dreadfleet on very hard difficulty. Today we are going to be moving on with our attacks on Kalidor. Previously we destroyed Kalidor's repose, Lothan decided say. to take it for themselves and we will be carrying on to Torthasai. Right, we need to end the turn, that's pretty much all we have left to do. We'll see what Lothan does. And they're going to go and get Val's Anvil, I think. Now, one thing I do need to do for everybody. Allied factions. Enemy factions. And neutral factions. It's fine. Just so that our own turns don't take too long. We are going to be attacked by Erathond here. An interesting battle awaits us. There is quite a few within Seaguard. What is the terrain like? Ooh, this could turn into a slaughter. <laughs> I like the look of this map. Let's go ahead and find this on the battle map. So the plan is uh, use my Necrofex on the Lothan Sea Guard. Uh, we'll use my Mortar on them as well. Just keep them occupied. And then my Gunners can rip to shreds the, the Spearmen. I can set up a really nice defense. I'm glad they don't have any artillery, otherwise this would be quite awkward, but thankfully they do not. But we can kind of be quite liberal. I'm going to put one unit of pole arms in the center on both sides. Okay. We'll do the same here. Let's fill these in. I think I might have this one here. And the depth guard can like be on the flank. Actually, I probably don't want them further forwards and other units at the start, because otherwise they'll be targeted by the Leather Sea Guard. But the mortars here, what's the minimum range on those? Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then we have Count Noctilus. And we have our Gunnery White. It might be better to do it like this. Yeah, that's fine. Gamble for more wins. And off we go. Speed it up. They're waiting for their reinforcements, so that's fine. See if they attack 50-50 or whether or not they all pile through the same one. They're going to split up. Oh, the mortars are hitting nicely. And they hit again. Wow, those are all completely off. That wasn't, though. <laughs> Got 
Alright, let's put like enhanced ballistics down. Move him across. I need to buff those guys as well. Okay. On that side, all is well. Oh, I do need to make sure that I have skirmish turned off, don't I? Otherwise, this doesn't work. Oh man, far away. I don't know why they're not firing. Did we like turn off fire at will? I don't think we did. Oh well. It's uh, fire at the Loden Sea Guard. Right, this mortar can start firing at the Loden Sea Guard on the right side. Right, we're doing well. Look at these shots straight into the side here. Just nasty. I would send these guys behind here, but I don't want to get in the way of the gunnery mobs. I should probably keep these guys topped off, shouldn't I? Because they do more damage when they have more ammunition. Alright, I'm going to move them over to the right side now. The Gunnery White, since the archers on this side are dead. So the front line is, is pretty much sorted to heal up these guys. Uh, let's put them on guard. Where are my bombers? Did I completely forget about my bombers? I did. Would have been useful to have them here. They are pretty close, so that's not too bad. Alright, let's engage over here. Uh, I need to get away from this prince if I can. We invocate this unit again so I don't lose them. Honestly, I might just be able to shoot this prince. go. Loads of damage. They're not the most accurate, but <laughs> they certainly do a lot of damage when they hit the mark. The spearmen are getting wrecked. Let's move into one side and see if that helps. Let's hit that guy. All well, these guys need uh, fixing up a bit. Alright, 
There we go, they're running. Fire away, boys. Blew them to smithereens as they run away. Beautiful. And do as much damage as possible here. This has worked out really well. I thought it might have gone a bit worse than that, but no, we did did all right. Then the battle there, so it's, it's unlikely we're going to be able to chase down the leader. In that position, look how much damage those gunners did. <laughs> this is why I changed them out for the one from the ones with pistols, because I know these ones can do a lot of damage if they can be used correctly. They're only going to get better as well, especially considering they're increasing in rank. I probably shouldn't have had my bombers so far away. That's okay. Assimilate the captives and... Uh, Will help us out quite nicely. Campaigner. Plus 10% campaign map movement range. And minus 5% attrition. Bought multiple battles very far away from the capital. Destroy the following factions. Kalidor. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I'm definitely going to do that. I'm not sure if I want to go for the minus upkeep just yet. I think it, we're probably better off like heading towards the invocations so I can get the like added area of effect. Yeah, we're going to do that. As as and we were already in the encampment, so we got a bunch of replenishment at the end of the turn there. So wipe these guys out. Assimilate them. Nice. That's actually ranked up our gunnery white again. Let's uh, get training going. And we'll wipe out this guy. Take the replenishment. And carry on. Jump into encamp start for the replenishment. And now Noctilus can get himself the added area of effect on the invocation. What's this lucky charm up here? That's missile resistance. Okay. We're going to get the 2000 from wiping out Kalidor. And then we need to find some ports to raid. Guess we should just go where the treasures lead us for the most part. I love how free you are to just go wherever the hell you want. It's great. One turn until our follower's finished. We do actually have the 1000 infamy that we would need in order to recruit ourselves one of the legendary lords. So what I'm going to do now that we finish the follower this turn is start sort of researching towards a, a second leader. Actually it might not be a good idea to do that yet since we don't have the upkeep to support a second army. 
Right, Seascape Artist is good to go. Let's go ahead and give that to Count Noctilus. He's got the Dawn Stone already, so that is fine. Let's change that for Power Stone. That's good. Time to attack Torsathai. This doesn't have wars. So it's going to be a pretty simple attack, I think. Yeah. Barely anything there. Awesome. Say goodbye to Kalidor, guys. We'll fight this on the battle map. So I think what I'm going to do, guys, is focus mainly on just like pirate coves for the most part. But I can't think of where there are the most settlements on the coast. It might actually be the Vampire Coast itself where we could do that. It might be worth declaring war on Luther Harkon. We're going to have plenty of time to run up, I think, because the reinforcements are not going to be on the field. Saying that, yes, they will, because it's a garrison battle. I think. <laughs> we'll find out. Let's just make sure my mortar's further up so it doesn't have to roll as far. And then we will start the deployment, start the battle. And they're all over to the right side. What I'll do, I'll create a wall, and then I'll have the units either side. Those in the middle, and the mortar. I'll just put guard, and it can target the archers. Noctilus needs to move there. I think I'm just going to move the... Gunnery White with those guys, and we'll move the Necrofax Colossus up to the point where it can shoot the Illyrian Reaver, Ar Reaver Archers, because that will take a lot of damage from the Necrofax Colossus. Let's shoot at those ones again because they're right in the way of the rest of the forces. Nice. Okay, my depth guard have ran ahead of everyone else, which is really irritating. Not sure we're quite going to get into the positions that I told them to. So what we'll do is we'll just sort it short. Beautiful. Put them all on guard. Brilliant. Yeah, these guys are still taking a bunch of damage from the archers. So let's move them back. We do have the area of effect now. Those spearmen are getting wrecked by the bombers. I love it. <laughs> My front line's not even being engaged. 
just over. Very nice. Noctilus taking a bit of friendly fire there. Doesn't really matter. Cool. Just heal those guys up a bit. And we'll end the battle there. So in future now we do have the double invocations to use which are which is really good for helping us hold the front line whilst our gunners continue to do a lot of damage. Twenty losses though. I'll take it. This army is really, really coming together. Very much enjoying using it. So we shall raise that, or sack it, sorry, because it's worth 5,400. And then what we'll do is raise it next turn. The other tricks is shard. Minus 22% magic resistance. Income from sacking settlements, plus 3%. Don't mind if I do. And he's leveled up. So I think what we'll do is uh, max out the invocation of Nehek so we don't get the miscast chance. It also, I think, reduces the cost of it, which is well worth it. Research available. I think I'm going to go for salvage crews, and I'll also get gunnery crews. I think it's worth getting these ones that only take three turns. And then what we'll do is go towards like the Notorious Admiral, maybe. We'll complete this mission though and we'll get another 2,000. We're going to have so much cash. We can just build up as much as we want. At the Galleon's Graveyard. We can grab the Smuggler's Jetty. That's going to allow us to get some Vampire Fleet Captains. What else could I build here? I don't need the tree and noose. I don't need the scurvy dog pits. I don't need these. So this is the only one I need in that. I can remember that now. The desolate shoal. Could be worth getting. Let's just spend the money on upgrading these. And I'll spend the extra 4,000. Or 2,000. That is 4,000 in total. On those two buildings. Because I think they are the only ones that I would need otherwise. Brilliant. How much does it cost to upgrade this to a great cabin? 7,200. I think it's going to take us a while to get five population surplus though, and by then we should probably have enough. Oh, Luthan is coming up again. At least we'll get the raise this time. And we will have killed another leader, or another army. So that's good. Farming that infamy. We're making Lothan stronger though, which sucks. I never miss. Negative growth in the Galleon's graveyard. Is as black as Gunnery White. Let's uh, get his training up. And let's finish off these guys. Do I want to resolve this? We serve one. Yes, I think I do. And I'll raise it. 
That's going to give us the 2,000. Brilliant. That's actually aborted the Coastal Conquest mission. Elador's now dead. Provincial control. Maintaining control of two provinces, either by direct ownership or through vassals and military allies. Yeah, maybe I could vassalize people. Maybe that'd be a way to play this campaign. Anyway, back to the water. <laughs> That's where we're going next. May as well sit in in camp stance. Are any of these nearby? The riddles of Ronald. Maybe we go down here. And take this element. I think it's owned by some high elves. It might be quite well defended though. Not sure. Let's end the turn. I think we're going to spend the next few turns heading back to our capital and I'll pick up some of those new things that I can build. We can get some of those crabs and stuff because those crabs are really good at holding the front line and that's just all we need for the gunnery mobs for the most part. Mission failed. Don't really care. Be at war with Illyrian. Scorched Earth. Plus 50% campaign map movement range. Plus 25% income from raiding. The fleet grows and cares of this world. Learn. Cares of this world. Learn fear your name. Learn to fear your name. Sorry. But there are still those who would oppose us. Send these fools to the depths. The maelstrom. We'll chew them up and spit them out with a more favourable disposition, my lord. It has been claimed. So that's Illyrian. Is that the only settlement they have? The only thing I'm thinking is how am I going to get inside the vortex? And why would I want to attack Illyrian? I don't know. <laughs> that seems a bit silly. There's no ports. We're not going to jump on the water. I'll do my own thing. This serves my cause. Cool. Do we upgrade this again? I'm not sure I do. I think I'm going to wait because I want to upgrade the desolate shoal. To the mangrove of monsters. Because then I can get myself some rotting Prometheans. Which are the defenders. Like crab things that I was talking about. So let's save the money for now. Lend the turn. I think it's a good job that I didn't actually take any of that land because I would have ended up at war with Lothan and that would have not been good. At least calador has gone. Shyish Wains. Those purple winds of magic are strangely absent around these parts, making the bindings that tie our troops to this world and our will tenuous at best. Should we wait for the winds to blow more favourably for us or press on regardless? I think we'd push on, right? I don't want to lose the extra campaign map movement range. And I'm not going to be fighting for a while. I think this is fine. Like 10 turns. 
Mm, it's quite a long time, actually. Yeah, let's do an eternity to wait. That's fine. Find them to your will. Recruit one hero. Technology complete. Good stuff. Go for gunnery crews for the extra missile damage. And we'll wait until five population surplus. Let's just speed towards the galleon's graveyard. Okay. Jump into diplomacy. Anybody like us? Nope. <laughs> We're in the turn. Lothurn has declared war on Illyrian. Sword of Cain claimed. Once again, actually. It's not the first time that's happened. Considering there's not much else to do, I think we move on to the next turn again. Let's make sure that this is upgrading. By the time we want to build from it, it will be complete. The rest of the money I'm saving because obviously I want to upgrade the fleet first. Cool. Continue. Got 5,983. I am very tempted to like upgrade to the Horde of Booty, but Vampire of the Waves. Not gonna bother for now. Because I need to keep that cash. But what we have done is found the Terrors of the Dark Straits. What is the purpose of that army? I think that's one of the ones that unlocks. Yeah, that's one of the ones that unlocks the uh, regiments of renown. Yeah, it unlocks the depth guard with pole arms. Land folk are weak. Wow. Their army is pretty legit though, so I don't think we can kill them yet. <laughs> nice replenishment though. You see. Okay, let's move on to the next turn again. Then we need to decide what we want to research. I didn't realize those armies moved around though. That's kind of cool that they kind of sail around all over the place and be a nuisance maybe to other factions although I don't see them really declaring war on other factions I think the idea is just to make them look as if they're actually doing something rather than them actually doing something all of the research is now unlocked since I don't really need admirals astrolabes I think I'm gonna Go for the Enduring Reanimation. Is that worth it? Not sure. I think like minus upkeep cost is just really decent for allowing me to have a really good army cheaply. What was I looking at getting? Let's go for the Admiral's Astrolabes. And then we will get the Notorious Admiral when we want to. But at least this 
will be researched and I won't have to wait the six turns. Okay. Jump into the settlement. I'm going to get rid of these two. And those are going to be the ones. Actually, I might get rid of that one as well. Those are all the ones that I'm going to replace with the rotting Prometheans. We've got two turns to wait until we can build those. Gonna save the cash. Right. Let's end the turn. Ooh, are they declaring war on us? They are. Time to go take low then. I can actually put a pirate cove in though then I think. That would be worth a lot to sack. Our army's nice and decent now, or at least it will be by the time we head back, so I think this is fine. Maybe we can wipe out Lothan. <laughs> Giving me a new target. And my gunnery white has leveled up. He's doing really well actually. Like leveling up very quickly. Let's give him lucky charm. Because he will be engaging from range for the most part. And therefore missile resistance is useful. Artosa Grape Shot. An army ability. Is that because we've upgraded so much now? I think it might be. Master. But either way, guys, unfortunately, it has been my time. So I am going to leave it here. In the next episode, what we'll do is recruit ourselves some of these rotting Prometheans. We'll go and bash up Lothan. Nice. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.